So when you're using that much anabolics all the time, then the rules don't really apply to you as much. Nope, the laws of thermodynamics don't apply if you're on. Coach Greg, and I'm with Ali Smith. Today I'm responding to Durian Ryder. He made a video, it's called Greg Doucette Doesn't Know Anything About Training Women. Hmm. Imagine that. I've already watched the video, she has not. Imagine I'm, imagine there was a difference between training men and training women. Yeah, I can women. only train men. Women, they're so, they have different muscles. Yeah, completely different. different. Need, everything needs to be different. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, you're not going to be impressed, and we're going to watch a video, and we're going to comment what? on why Durian Ryder is a complete moron. But I'm not sure if he's a complete moron or if this was literally entirely a joke. It might be April Fool's, it's July, but it's possible that he's joking about the entire video. You decide, you watch the video, you tell me, did he just play a trick on me and he called me out and he doesn't actually mean anything or is he this stupid? You, I want to know, I genuinely want to know. Okay, but why am I going to be mad? Like you're making me just do this, but am I going to be mad? Just wait and see. You're going to be mad for sure. All right, let's see. This is Greg's wife here. Uh, he's training her up to get in a bikini competition and uh, she, she looks slim. Okay, so two things wrong. A, I'm not married to anybody. B, I'm certainly not doing a bikini competition. So that's right, right off starts off with two very incorrect facts. So I don't know what I'm doing because I'm training her for a bikini contest and she's my wife, yet I'm not training her for, do you ever plan on doing a bikini contest? Never. Have I ever? or will do a bikini contest. So let's see what else he says. And uh, she, she looks slim, you know, she, she's fine, but she definitely, she, in her blog, she says she struggles with yo-yo dieting because Greg prescribes her calories and calories out. And so that's almost funny because most people would know exactly what I eat and what I do. And definitely I've never followed one of Coach Doucette's diet ever. Remember that one time you got really oh, yeah. in shape? And we put you on a calories in, calories out diet, and it was 1,800, and you couldn't even <laughs> stick to that, and you cheated on the whole time? Yeah, but I And still, how much weight did you lose? Well, I still made weight. I don't know. I lost a lot of weight. Yeah. So the one time she actually followed my plan, she got ripped in a hurry and was setting records in powerlifting competitions. Records! Not lifting okay. Lifting a heck of a lot hey, more than Doreen Ryder I can lift. I could go get my powerlifting records. I already have them memorized. Oh. So Doreen Ryder, how many reps can you do with three plates aside on the deadlift? That's 315 for those of you who don't actually lift weights. Yeah. A raw shot I took. There's no face tune, there's no filter. That's just real. Look at that glow there. He has no makeup. That's that's very very rare. You know, it's very rare for a 23 year old woman to look so youthful in 2020. Is it really rare to look youthful when you're young? <laughs> I I mean, I figure I, that's a given. Any I mean, anything in your 20s, you're good to go. I'm 44. Jerry Ryder's 44. His girlfriend's 23. How old are you? About 23, right? Yeah, 23. In doggy years, <laughs> babe. Well, how old are you? I'll be 39 in October. Okay, she's 39. What did you notice about the two girls? What were they doing? What activity were they doing a lot of? They both look like cyclists. They so. both look like cyclists. How much cycling do you do in your, in your last, say, two years? How much times? A zero. Lies, she's riding a bike twice. When? When did I ride the bike? Well, you rode with me once outside Babe. and you had the friggin- Babe. Uh, riding a bike like a six-year-old leisurely down the block is not considered a bike ride. And we rode on a tandem bike with your parents. The point and is that was she doesn't ride ago. a bike competitively like these girls that he's training. She went from total absolute noob to national level in less than a year. Her legs look like my arms. And are you a national level cyclist? I am Do you not. do approximately the same amount of training as a national level? In the last, say, six months, how many times have you done cardio? <laughs> how many hours in the last, say, six months? Well, let's see, maybe about... An hour a week on average? That's weight in six months, no An way. An hour per week. The point is, hardly any cardio, N and none how much calories almost. would you say you eat a day on average, an average day? 3,000. 3,000, Durian Ryder? How much does your girlfriend eat? She does no cardio and eats 3,000 calories a day. What kind of foods do you eat? Mostly protein, right? Mostly protein. <laughs> Right? It's all protein, well, it's right? it's the other word that starts with P. Pizza? 
Oh, <laughs> she's mostly pizza. This is Athlean X. All right, so Athlean X claims, look at that, 22 days, you can have a body like him. Athlean X. Athlean X doesn't claim you can have a body like him in 22 days. Has he watched any of it? Does anything? he watch me or you I or Athlean X? Like, I really? I don't even understand. Like, wh why are we comparing? Durian Ryder has 218,000 followers. He posts a video with my name in it and only gets 3,000 views in a day. That's pathetic. Who's following Durian Ryder? Shouldn't he have like 100,000 views? He's talking about me, calling me out, and no one's even watching it. Well, why are we talking about him then? Because I don't let people just push me around. <laughs> I always win. Guy here, anabolics 100%. I don't know who his name is. He's a wrestler, uh, but 100% this guy is on anabolics. So it's not about calories in, calories out. It's about hormones, okay? Oh, of It course. must be cortisol. Too much <sighs> cortisol. That It doesn't matter how much you eat as long as you have the right hormones. I'm on testosterone 140 milligrams a week. So I can eat anything I want and I can never gain weight because it's hormones and since I'm taking them, you're on birth control, right? Yeah. So she can eat whatever she wants because she's on hormones. Apparently. Apparently. Let's see. All this new stuff I'm not aware let's of. Let's see. He's a genius, obviously, because really? he's a cyclist and he's vegan. You're a vegetarian. So obviously, what happens when you went vegetarian? Did you gain weight or lose weight overall? Probably gained weight. Gain weight <laughs> on a vegetarian diet because it's calories in, calories out. It doesn't matter if it's meat. Wait till you see. I've already seen the video. You wait. Well, the story here is Greg Duchesne doesn't get results for his Duché. girlfriend's wife. Greg Duchesne. That's a new How one. How many <laughs> videos has he seen and he can't read my name? I mean, I'm bad at pronouncing names, but if I watch somebody like 20 times, I would get it eventually. If you want your girlfriend to be as lean and fit year-round as my, mine always are, all right? Not too lean, not too fat, just right. <laughs> Which is different for different so if you want to control your girlfriend and force them to look the way you want them to look, make them eat a lot of carbs because it's not calories in, calories out. It's literally just eating a lot of carbs and being low on the protein and fats. That's the secret. And go vegan. And let's never mind the fact that they're riding a bicycle to become a national level cyclist, probably training 15 hours a week. Biking burns a lot of calories. I can imagine. Grundy, Gundy, Grundy who says calories in, calories out. It's obviously not working for him, all right? Now, Grundy, he looks natty. He looks full natty, bro, we'll give him that. It seems easy, like I don't even know why this is a debate. Like how are we even debating this? Calories in, calories out. We're not breaking laws of thermodynamics just because we're eating carbs. Like really? No. Like even Homer Simpson knows that you can't break the laws of thermodynamics. In this house, we obey the laws of thermodynamics. Hey, I have a good idea. I'm gonna only eat carbs and fats for the next month, but I'm gonna only eat 1,500 calories of it, and then we'll see. I'll eat pizza every day. If you eat only pizza and you eat less calories, you lose weight. If you eat only protein and-, and Well, I know, weight, that's what I'm saying, but I wanna matter. test it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how it makes you feel. But can I test it? No. Well, you can do whatever <laughs> you it. want, I don't care. i just not doing a video about it. And so the fat you eat is the fat you wear. If you have 3,000 calories a day from fat, then you store 3,000 calories a day from fat. And if you eat 3,000 calories a day from carbs, then you store that as muscle glycogen. So you can see why I'm saying, is he actually serious or is this April Fool's video? Because, I mean, do you think it might, do you think at the end of the video he's gonna say this was a joke? I would hope so. You would so. hope so, we'll see. Uh, JC, Jeff Kelly also wears a hairpiece. Now there's nothing wrong with wearing a hairpiece. I've worn them before, I wear wigs and troll around, not wearing anything at the moment. But uh, JC, he's, he uses fake weights, uh, uses a hairpiece, lies about using gear, and I think that's really deceiving. What does that have to do with calories in, calories out, and the laws of thermodynamics? And how can he tell he's wearing a hairpiece? Well, I can't tell. I mean, I mean, obviously he's using fake weights, but there's no relevance to that to losing weight. How many more minutes of this? It's 10. I have to go to the gym. Look how sad he looks. I mean. If, if you saw this guy in the street, you'd think he's like homeless and dead broke. He looks so bitter, sad. This is a friend of mine, a Swayze, when she followed my advice back in the day. High carb, low fat, uh, low protein. During Riders basically doing a video saying, you need to eat a lot of carbs. And am I a carbophobe? No. I have done about 10 videos where I've talked about not being afraid of carbs. I don't say avoid carbs. How many people that have watched my videos think I'm against carbs?
Do I do keto? I'm against it. I, I make fun of fad diets. I know. My diet is more than 50% calories from carbs. So how am I doing it wrong? The high carb on the left, mod carb in the middle, and on the far right, low carb. Does it not seem like a joke? It seems like a joke because we're looking at faces. Well, the girl's bigger and bigger, and he's saying it's because she's on low carb. I know. He has the graph, but it has nothing to do with that. It's calories in, calories out. Maybe she did less cardio and ate more calories. This it looks doesn't like matter. It's like a twenty, a twenty carbs. year difference. There's no way Durian is this stupid. Like, is he? Is no, it possible? No, it's shocking. Were you trying to jump? Because that was a big fail. <laughs> and what studies kept? First what is of all, posting up? What is the, this? The first two graphs look like a baby Nike Somebody and Gertie an graph. Drew it and then the second hopes. one looked like it was like scripted, like back from when they didn't have any sort of technology. So now, so this is an example of inflammation. Right? Look how puffy his face is. He looks like a chopper chop. What is he <laughs> talking about? He is a vegan, and he is in prison. And um. He likes tacos. Okay, this is a joke. So if you see a physique like this, this is the same day, just flexing, non-flexing. This is just anabolic steroids, high dosages. No, Doreen, it's literally Matt's Fitness showing you how to do a before and after transformation to Photoshop the photo. Photoshop. You do a bunch of pick, you do a bunch of push-ups, and you Photoshop the photo, and you take a picture, and that's what he's doing. He's literally showing you how you can look different in a couple minutes. So he literally did no research, and it's then not... just started to ramble on about a video. Jimmy Glitzer, who had anorexia after coming off cycle, and on the left, that's him on the right there, that's before and after. So that's him on the left there. You know, healthy weight, using the juice, being modeling, but taking things a bit too far, got off the juice, and lost the gains. If you starve yourself, you're going to lose muscle. You're gonna lose everything. Yeah. Clearly that's not on steroids and just off steroids. There's way more going on in the after. Because when you do calories in, calories out, well, I gotta cut my calories to lose some weight. Greg Boucher, Dr. Granger, then you're gonna have the rebound effect. You're gonna have post-starvation hyperphagia where you're just eating the house down, and then post-starvation obesity, right? Do I look like I got fat after? Compare me to three years ago. Am I leaner now than before? Yes. It's because I'm not in a surplus because I eat from my cookbook, low calorie dense foods. It allows me to stay in a deficit and be full all the time. So I'm not starving so I don't gain weight. If I all of a sudden eat more calories, whether they're from fat, protein, or carbs, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So as soon as you starve yourself, intermittent fasting, cut your breakfast, one meal a day, blah, 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 five, two diet, low carb, whatever, then you gotta rebound. You're gonna rebound. Does he watch any of my videos? I don't think he's There's... saying you. I, I just it's, it's I a, a lot Maybe of rambling he nonsense. He said Dr. Gregor. That he's whatever. push he's like putting stuff in a long sentence that doesn't make any sense. Actually here, this is a guy from Fifty Shades of Grey. This is off cycle. He's stopped taking the juice. And this is on cycle, all right? The video says I don't know how to train women. It kind of went on a well, that's what I mean. There was you, nothing. Not knowing anything to all of a sudden it's about. I don't even know what the point of this is. Yeah, like, Vin I don't Diesel get it. stopped taking steroids and got fat, and so somehow I don't know how to train people. Somehow it's hormones. And the laws of thermodynamics don't, don't work because people who start eating too much and get fat, that proves it doesn't work. So Greg Duchesne's advice doesn't work. Here's a t-shirt. Put the fork down. I mean, you lose weight, but you rebound, all right? Uh, gotta finish this six Greg minutes. Rebound, huh? oh, six Greg Duchesne uses... uses a lot more anabolics than he lets on. It's 140 milligrams of testinenthate every week. So it's a lot more than that. Apparently. Why? Because I look good? And that means that you can't train women. So when you're using that much anabolics all the time, then the rules don't really apply to you as much. Nope, the laws of thermodynamics don't apply if you're on steroids. It doesn't. You can eat whatever you want. Fairly. It makes the bed for you. Everyone knows that. I know. It cooks and cleans for me. What Man, I gotta do? get on these steroids. It, it cleans my car, waxes it too. And I don't have to bike ride. I can beat during rider in a race just by taking anabolics. If I take more trend, I can for sure beat him in a race. And the guy can't get his girlfriend in the shape she really wants to be. She wants to be like Natasha. You know, nine percent of girls do. They want to be super. They want to feel tiny in a, in a man's wrapped up in their arms. So. My point is, there was never an end goal. No, he just so was doing his thing. If I don't even know where I want to end, how does he know how I want to look? So I guess you could challenge Natasha to a deadlift contest. You haven't deadlifted in how long? Babe, I probably have about sixty pounds on her, so it wouldn't really be. No, a... you're only weigh one fifty four. I know, but sh like. 
again, her legs but look like my arm. But he's saying how much better his girlfriend is than like, you. Did we see these here? Uh, you got to store the fat from the KFC and the fruit. You got to pee out. You know, fruit just gets you super lean. That's why I'm super lean as a cyclist marathon. People say, "Oh, well, you exercise a lot, Harley." I don't exercise a lot. Follow my Strava. All right, so all the data's there. Yeah, he doesn't exercise a lot. He's only a bike racer. He probably does what twenty minutes cardio every other day. He probably thinks he doesn't do a lot because Lance Armstrong, at his peak, did more than him. He entered a 24-hour, how far can you bike ride in a day, entered a race. That's more cardio than I do in a month. If you want to look like a piggy, then eat poor little piggy. Better yet, just don't. Eat plants instead. White rice. Babe, it must be all the bacon you eat, right? Because you eat girt all the time uh, with pig. Don't eat, don't eat girties. <laughs> Well, you can't tell people what to do or not to. I'm but telling regardless, you. she's vegetarian. She's not even eating meat. Are you? Would you consider yourself on a high protein diet? No. Would you consider yourself on a high carb diet? Yes. <laughs> and she's vegetarian. So Jurian, she literally eats more like you than you think. A lot of people out there are going to rebound at some point. Yeah, they're going to rebound at some point. They're going to rebound at some point if they're dieting on something they can't stick to or if they're doing something that doesn't make sense. I don't promote people to try to be 5% body fat year round. I want them to eat at a I want them to eat at a level that they can sustain for life. Follow my cookbook, eat what I'm saying to eat, eat like me. Usually it's half of your goal. If you're here and you want to be this shredded, somewhere in the middle is sustainable. Because it's unsustainable, all right? Just eat low fat, high carb, low protein if your goal is lean and shredded looking. No, you can't just eat low fat, high carb, and low, low protein. protein. And he's just saying it's not sustainable. Well, what if bike riding two hours a day isn't sustainable? What if you do that all summer and winter hits and you don't ride the bike? And then all of a sudden you're not burning off all those calories, you're gonna get fat. So I'm not saying don't bike ride, I'm just saying you have to be in a deficit to lose weight, okay? That's the bottom line. Because Stone Cold said so. And I'm willing to bet I eat more carbs than Doreen Ryder. So what is his point? I don't know. I've been asking the entire time. What is the point of this? If I wasn't a cyclist, I'd be swole. Oh, <laughs> this was so easy. I'll quit wet some grime. I'd be swole. Yeah. Do people say that swole. anymore? Do you, it's a joke video, right? It's got to be a joke video. He it, just it's said It's got to be a joke. Yeah. That's why I don't train consistently with weights. Because I'm not trying to get small swole. Maybe we'll move down the track. You know, but I just enjoy cycling. I enjoy flying the mountains and running fast. I enjoy beating 20 year olds on the bike. You know? I mean, muscle. it has to be a joke video. He's it's, like, he's throwing out so many things that make no sense and proving how much of an idiot it is. I build muscles so easy. I build muscles so easy. I look at weights and I grow. It's got to be April Fools. We get it, Doreen. April Fools. You almost had me. I've already got a super hot girlfriend. You know, gain and girth and length are what gets your chicks. The muscles and that's good, but. Might get you some numbers, but you gotta have more than that to keep on the ground. So I don't need muscle to pull puss. I've got it. I don't need <laughs> muscle to pull puss. Is that why he's showing a red sports car? Is I don't that, even know what's been going on. Brag that he has Half better... the video was of his girlfriend riding a bike. The rest is just nonsense. What is this? Including a vehicle. Why is he showing gas. his car? I don't know. Does he have a better car than me? Is that debatable? Is that his car? I think so. He's in it. I don't know what kind it is. It's a Ferrari. Is that a better car than I have? Yes. That's the deal. Greg Duchesne, program doesn't work. He also fudges how much gear he uses. He said, I use it 100 milligrams a week. It's 140. Has he not even watched the video? Babe, clearly he hasn't. He doesn't know I what mean, he's talking my about. My programs don't work. He's proven it because Vin Diesel got fat. And because I and, don't follow your diet. And because Ali doesn't do any cardio or really train hardly at all and eats what she wants. So that means my program doesn't work because she doesn't feel like using it. And he's doing way more than 100 milligram a week. Anyway, that's the deal. No hating, just saying. So if you believe he's a better coach than me, feel free to buy his cookbooks or training books or hire him for coaching. If you think he's an idiot, you're still welcome to hire me, but I probably charge 10 times as much as him because I actually have good information. But babe, he gets girls that are 23. But he gets all the puss because he has what? A low carb diet? Yeah. A high carb. High carb diet. He gets all the puss because he has a red car and because he he's 5% body fat and he doesn't have muscles and he can beat 20 year olds in a bike race. Yeah. So he gets 23 year old girlfriends when he's 45 or however old he is. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Makes, makes a lot of Perfect. sense. Perfect.
Got it. GregDoucette.com for coaching. Greg Doucette IFB Pro. We're going to bloop up two videos so that you can watch something actually informative because you already know <laughs> the laws of thermodynamics apply. And until next time, we're out. Blah, 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 blah. That was awful. That video. I mean, I can't yeah, believe it.